This video is sponsored by AppMaker. Hey everyone, welcome back to Educate WordPress. On this channel, we talk everything about WordPress. And today, as I promised, we're going to create a blog website from scratch using Elementor Pro. If you don't know Elementor, I will link the Elementor tutorials link in the description along with some more Elementor related content. So, if you find yourself stuck or unable to understand what happened, just make sure to watch those videos. So first, I'm going to start adding a better way of seeing posts. What I'm trying to say is that whenever we see a blog website, there are posts either in the form of just featured image and title and some text like author or categories or in the form of cards with images and title. But what we are after is something like this. So in this video, we're going to learn how to add custom loops. Let's get started. For that, we're going to need two plugins, Elementor Pro and Elementor Custom Skin. I've already installed Elementor and now we're going to install Elementor Pro. Let's head over to the Elementor Pro website. The website will be linked in the description. Pay here on the website and choose a plan according to your needs. Click on buy now and complete the purchase. After you've done with the purchase, they will give you a zip file. Now let's head over to Elementor custom skin website and click on download. This is a free plugin but you will need to install Elementor Pro for this plugin to work. Let's head over to our dashboard, go to plugins, add new, click on upload plugin and choose the downloaded zip file. Click on install now. And in the similar way, Install Elementor Custom Skin. Now while this installs, let's talk a bit about our sponsor. This video is sponsored by AppMaker. AppMaker is a WordPress plugin that converts WooCommerce websites to mobile apps. The mobile app builder helps you create native Android and iOS applications. Get 30% off by being first 200 sign up. Get the link in the description. Now we're back and as you can see, both of our plugins have been activated. So let's start creating a custom loop. Go to templates. Click on add new. Choose the template type. And this will be loop. Name your template. and click on create template. We're going to start from scratch. Let's add a section with a single column. We're going to go to style, change the background type, and we're going to choose a dynamic image. For that, click on this icon which says dynamic tags, and click on featured image. Go to layout. Give it a bit of height. Set it to minimum height. And give it a height of about 230. Set the column position to bottom. Let's add the post title. and change the style from here click 
let's add a post info we're going to add categories so set it to terms and the taxonomy will be categories and we're going to remove author date time and comments from here and also the icon let's change the style Let's give it a background overlay. So go back to section editing. Click on style, background overlay, and I'm going to add a gradient. And let's give it a location. Of about 40 let's click on publish and click on save and close and let's head back to our dashboard let's create a page And let's add posts. Click on skin and change it to custom. And select a template. This is the loop post that we just created. And as you can see, our custom posts have been added. Let's change the background. So that we can view the featured image. Go back to style. The position will be center center. No repeat. And size will be cover. Let's click on update. Refresh this and add posts again. And as you can see, this is our posts, and it really looks good. You can also change the height. From here, from the minimum height, click on update, save and close. And as you can see, this looks good. Now that's it for this video. In the next video, we're going to create a home page. So stay tuned for that. Thank you for watching this video, like if you find this video useful and subscribe. Thank you.